Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will do a simple example to calculate the simple interest. And before jumping into the example, I will explain you what I'm going to do in that example. So I wanted to calculate the simple interest. The formula to calculate the simple interest is principal into rate into time divided by 100. That's the formula to calculate the simple interest. So I need the I need a variable to store the principal, the rate, and time. Assume, let's say principal is just a plain number. Rate can be a, a decimal number, can be 5.5, 6.7, whatever. So that's to store this, I need a variable. And the time to store the time, I need a variable. So let's say the type of the variable for just because principal has a simple number, I will declare it as integer. So that's called as an int. Rate can have a decimal number, so I will use double here. And time is still a number, so I'll use integer. And the result of this will be stored into a variable called simple interest. And that can also be called as a double because the computation is going to result in a double. So we need four different variables. So whenever we deal with variables, each variable should have a name and also should have a type. And it's always good to have an initial value. So now we're going to go ahead and write our program. So we'll go back to the Java. We'll create a brand new class. So we'll go up here under the default package. We'll say new class. And the name of my class, I can call it as simple interest. And it also has a main method. So we'll go ahead and do finish. Now what is the purpose of this main method? Main method you can think is like the Java looks for this method where to start the program. So this is the program where from where your Java is going to start. So this is the main method we have. So in this method, so we are calculating the simple interest. So I need four variables to store principal, rate, time, and simple interest. So the first variable is called principal. It has a value of 1000. So this is our first variable. I have a variable called as simple interest. Let's say right now we are calculating it so it has a value of 0. Similarly, we'll say if double, which is to store the rate, and let's say the rate has a value of 10.0. And then you have a variable called time to store, let's say, two years. Now, these are the four variables that I've created, and each statement in Java ends with a semicolon. So these are the semicolons that you have to use. And every method has a closing and an opening brace. So this is called as the opening brace. This is the closing brace. Similarly, the class also has an opening brace and the closing brace. So this is a simple example. We have created four different variables, and each of the variables has some values. So now we're going to go ahead and calculate the simple interest. The formula to calculate simple interest is principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time and divided by 100. This is the formula to calculate the simple interest. So now we're going to go ahead. Okay, so now in this case, it has to be double because the output that is going to come as a double. So we're going to go ahead and make it as a double. So this double will be 0, 0.0 right now. So now we need to display the value of a simple interest. So here, system.out.println to display. And we can say simple interest is plus of si. Now what is this plus here? So guys, whatever you write in the double quotes is going to go ahead and print as it is. So this anything that Java encounters in double quotes is called as a string and that will be print is, printed as it is here. Now you are, this is a concatenation operator it means you're adding two different things. You're adding a string with an, another string or you can say another another variable so here si is without the double quote so this is not a string a regular string here so if java looks for this si he will because its si is without the string he will look for the variable called as si which is this variable so this is the value of the variable si and this is how it's going to go ahead and print it so now in this case the simple interest is and plus means you're adding this two parts of the program. You're adding the simple interest and the SI value. So what is the value of the SI? That is equals to the value you compute from here. So now we're going to go ahead and run the program. So here I'll say run as Java application. So we're going to go ahead and say simple interest. And this is the output of the program. So if you look at it, simple interest is 
this part has printed as it is and SI this is the actual value that it computed and calculated now if you don't use if you write SI with, with this uh, double quotes, means if you move everything together. Now, this whole thing will be considered as a string and it will be printed as, as it is. So, if you run the program now, it will print the whole thing as a string. It won't see that, okay, this SI, we are talking about the variable. So, if you go ahead and run the program, it's going to print the whole string at, as it is. So, here, if you run it, run as... We're going to say Java application and it's going to say simple interest is SI. But, but we don't want this statement. This is a logical error in the program, right? Because we wanted the value of this area, value of this SI to be printed. So do that, we need to go ahead and concat. We need to put without the double quotes. So we want the Java to treat this as a regular variable. So we'll write it without the double quotes. So this is how you're going to go ahead and get the get the answer. So if you run it back again, it's going to go ahead and print the simple interest is 200. So now if you go ahead and change these values, it'll compute a different result. So now if you change it to 20%, it's going to go ahead and give you a different output. So this is our another example. You can do the same example. I will give you an assignment. We, I will request you to go ahead and do those assignments to practice more. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.